Are you suffering from diastasis recti or with umbilical hernia? You don't know how to connect this weak abdominal wall. You have a gap that you can't connect. Hi, my name is Annie. Welcome back to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. This is a standing and Pilates supine exercises to really connect these weak abdominal exercises to connect the gap. Utilizing Pilates, yoga, and physical therapy with dumbbells. So if you're new to my channel, my channel is about Pilates, yoga, physical therapy, health and wellness. And I have a lot of videos about this. This is recti, postpartum, and this is a gentle progression. We're going to be doing it in standing and also lying on your back. So get your mat ready and dumbbells. And if you don't have dumbbells, you can use bottled waters or just canned goods for absolute beginners to join me today. Okay, my friends, before we proceed to any exercise regimen, I recommend you see your primary care doctor or your local physical therapist to make sure you have this diagnosis. And before you proceed to any program, if you're just starting to exercise, I also recommend if you just had a baby, please consult first and make sure you have a clearance from your doctor, especially if you have C-sections, because C-sections is a major surgery as well. You don't want that surgery to reopen. And you have to make sure you're clear to start any program. Usually eight weeks postpartum, you're already safe, but everyone is different. Some patients of mine had complications when they had infection, and you don't want to exercise that area. You want to make sure it's healing well on your scar tissue. So let's proceed now. We'll start in standing with your toes, feet apart. We'll start with breath work. So this is so important to engage your transverse abdominis. Take a deep breath, belly breath by opening your belly. And then exhale, squeeze your core in and engage. Mind body awareness on this area. Inhale, open. Exhale, squeeze. Now place the dumbbells on your waist area like you're making. Stand with your chest out as you inhale, you're gonna open the dumbbells out to external rotate and exhale, squeeze your core in. You're gonna follow your breath work with the movement of your dumbbells. Belly breath, push your belly out, exhale, squeeze. That will create this mind body awareness of really connecting. Inhale, belly breath, exhale, squeeze. Two more, belly breath, external rotate, and then squeeze, pull towards your waist, your hands back to a stance of chest up. Squeeze your core in. Inhale, open your belly. Open your dumbbells out. Exhale, squeeze in. Now we're going to do some more progression. We're going to push the dumbbells forward. As you push your dumbbells forward, you push your belly out. Inhale, squeeze your core in. Placing on your chest, elbows, shoulder chest level as you breathe out. Inhale, push out, belly out, and then in. Inhale, keep your body straight, squeeze your core in, and you can soften your knee a little bit if you have difficulty keeping your core engaged. Two more, push out, push in. Last one, inhale, Excellent. Well done. Now we are progressing. You're placing the dumbbells above your shoulder. So with your elbow out, squeezing your upper back, like a double your position, pressing, squeezing that out, belly breath, inhale. And then we're going to slowly lift one leg up. So I'm lifting my left knee up. If you have balance issues, you can hold on to something stable. Squeeze your core in and then exhale down. Inhale. Exhale down. Side by side, weight shift. And it's okay if you shift your body weight. Really imagining the core muscles. Those core muscles are engaged. As you breathe in, left and right. Keep this dumbbells steady. Inhale. Exhale. Four more. Balance, squeeze, I'm really tightening that area. Three more, each leg. Two more. 
Last one. And down, well done. Now we are progressing by lifting the dumbbells up overhead. With your elbows slightly bent, just on your head, just for the center of gravity connected to your core. And this time with your feet together. So this is gonna be a lot more balanced, but you're following through the center of gravity in the middle. But if this is too difficult, you can hold on to something stable as you lift and march. Squeezing your core in. I'm really tightening that area. We'll do 10 times each foot. With your breath work. One lift, one breath. I'm really tightening it. Wrap around. Imagining if you have a natural corset around you all the way to your spine. Pull it in. Six more. Balance. Five. Four, three, two, last one, and one. We are progressing, feet apart. We're gonna do some wood choppers. So we're gonna slowly chop. Imagine if you're chopping wood. We're gonna trunk twist a little bit to the left and pull, lift across your body diagonally. So from right to left, right to left. And we'll do that 10 times. So from the right side first, if you want, inhale and then exhale down. Chop the wood and up. Squeeze your core in. Try not to do too much strong rotation, just a tiny bit. Try to really brace your abdominal muscles. Seven more. Inhale as you lift, expand your ribcage, expand the belly, and then squeeze as you chop down. Inhale and exhale. Four more. Breathe in, breathe out. Three, two, keep your back straight, soften your knee if you need to, especially for those who have the density to lean back. And one. Well done. Now we're going to switch from left. Switch. Exhale. Inhale. And really brace. Eight more. Stretch. If you have tightness on your shoulder, try to reach as much as you can. Especially those with posture that's leaning forward. Who want to really reach back. Lift. To the side, left to right, chop to the right. Three more. Two more. Last one. And down. Ooh. We are progressing by doing some wood chopper with knee lift. So from right, I'm placing the both thumbs to the right side of my body. I'm shifting my body weight to the right and lifting my left knee and tapping towards my left knee as I reach to the hip level, and then lift the dumbbells to the right again and lower your foot down, tap the mat, and then breathe out. Eight more. Seven. Six. Squeeze your core in. Five. Four. Three. Two, and one. Well done, now we're gonna switch to the other side. Shift your body weight to the left. Lift dumbbells to the left side, both of them. As you shift, you lift your right knee to your knee hip level and tap, balance on one foot, and reach. And tap. Seven more. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, last one, and one. Whew. Well done, your shoulders might be on fire now. Now we're gonna open your feet really far apart, toes pointing out. We're gonna do some trunk rotation. Really brace that core. Push the dumbbells out, slowly bend your knees a little bit lower, and we're gonna twist. Just to the level of your knee, to your left. Exhale, back center, and then twist to the right. Center. 
10 times. Twist, left and right. Squeeze your core in. Eight more. If you need to pause, press your shoulders, that's fine. You're almost done. Four more. Three, two, and one. Whew. Well done, shake it off. Now let go of the dumbbells. We are gonna roll down to the mat. Squeeze your core in slowly. Do a forward fold, hip hinge. Keep your back straight or engage as you do a gentle hinge on your hips. Reach forward, do a little bit yoga. Interlock your fingers and stretch. And load down, all the way down to the mat. <sighs> Soften your knees so you can reach down. It's okay to bend your knees slightly. Reach back behind you. Push up and stretch your shoulders. Take a deep breath. Exhale down. We're gonna crawl down all the way down to the mat in all fours position. I'm gonna do some gentle yoga. And this is fine. With your core engaged, hand level to your shoulders. I'm gonna do a gentle cat and camel as you round your shoulder. Exhale, look up. Inhale, round. Exhale, up. Inhale, exhale, up. Two more. Just take a break a little bit on your shoulders. Last one. And now grab the dumbbells. We're gonna do some amazing core, which is bird dog. Bird dog is one of the great ways to improve your posture and engage your core. If you're having pain and your diastasis recti, stop. You can place a ball, also like a physio ball for support, if you can't handle all fours yet. So we're gonna start kicking. Kick with your right leg first, inhale, and then reach with the opposite arm, balance. Core engage, and then down, back to the mat, knees bent. Dumbbell back level to your shoulder and then switch. I'm kicking with my left foot up with my knee straight, level to my hip as I lift my right dumbbell up, level to my shoulder. Keeping my eye gaze down to the mat and then back down. We have nine more. Alternating left and right. Squeeze your core in and you really want to reach, lengthen to feel taller. Inhale, exhale, seven more. Feel those muscles engage. Five more. Reach, toes pointing away as you kick. Four. Three, two, and one. Well done. Rest your core, rest your back by lowering your hips down, extending your arm for a gentle child pose, and lower your chest all the way down. Inhale and exhale. Now we're gonna lie on your back. To engage your core more with some simple gentle abdominal bracing exercises while on your back. So we're gonna start with some bridging. Bridging is one of the best way to strengthen your core because it also comprises to engage your glutes muscles. So we're gonna slowly lift your hips up as you belly the breath lift. Squeeze your abdominal muscles as you breathe out and then squeeze your glutes muscles as tight as you can. Try not to hyperextend your lumbar spine. As you roll down one vertebrae at a time, bone to bone down to the mat as you go down slow and steady. And then slowly lift the dumbbells overhead as you go down. And breathe out. And then inhale, slowly lift the dumbbells as you lift your glutes. Now your dumbbells now is facing up to the heavens. And then slowly lower your hips down, bone to bone to the mat, as you slowly lift dumbbells overhead again. To really stretch those abdominal area here on your upper abs, but at the same time bracing it to eccentric control. Inhale, belly breath, squeeze your core in, squeeze your glutes, exhale out overhead. 
as you lower down your hips. Seven more. Inhale, let's sit down. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. And hold that bridge, hold that dumbbells in front of you. As you're gonna open your knees out, you're gonna open the dumbbells out just slightly. So it's a butterfly stretch together with a glutes workout. So we're gonna hold that hips up, still hold that, and then center. Open, center. Inhale, exhale, squeeze as you go center. Breathe in, breathe out. Open as you inhale. Exhale as you go center. Feel the burn in your glutes. Five more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And one. And roll down. Now we're going to do dead bug. Keep the dumbbells up. We're going to slowly lift both feet up to 90 degrees. As you tap your left foot, you're going to tap the dumbbells overhead one side. And then center. Right side, switch right and left. Tap gently. <sighs> Try not to plop your foot or the dumbbells. Seven more. <sighs> Same side. Dead bug. <sighs> Squeeze your core in. <sighs> Five more. <sighs> Three more. <sighs> Two. Last one. And now we're gonna do dead bug with the opposite side. So as I tap my left foot, I'm tapping my right dumbbells overhead. And then switch, right foot tap, left foot dumbbell. Nine more. Squeeze your core in. Eight. Breath work. Six. Five. Four, three, two, last one, and one. And we are progressing. Keep the both feet up still and dumbbells. If you're tired, you can pause. And we're gonna do both legs down and both dumbbells overhead, double, and then back center. This is the progression. If you can't do this yet, you can do single still. Seven more. We're almost done. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. We're cooling down now. Let go of the dumbbells. Hug your knees to your chest. Rock side to side. You guys did amazing today. And then circles. Reverse circles, amazing. Lift your feet up, grab your big toes, pull it down for a happy baby pose, and rock side to side, stretch those hips, stretch those hip groin area. Inhale and exhale. Pull your toes closer to you if you can to feel that bigger stretch, a deeper stretch on your hips. Now hug your knees with your legs extended, ankle pumps, and go, 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 stretch. Now figure four, place one foot on top of your knee and hug your knees to your chest in the four, figure four position. And then rock side to side if you need to. Stretching those deep hip external rotators. And then switch to the other side. Hug your knees to your chest. Keep your breath work. And that's it. I'm hoping you enjoyed this gentle, a little bit progressive with dumbbells to strengthen your core and really close the gap of your diastasis recti and really pull in that umbilical hernia. If you have any questions, suggestions, or concerns, leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to answer each one of you or if you have any video requests. If you love this video and want to learn more about Pilates, yoga, physical therapy, health, and wellness, please subscribe to my channel 
ring the bell so you won't miss anything ever you like it to give to my channel you are supporting me it helps the algorithm it helps my channel to be spread around the world so i can reach out to more people who need help my help and if you need my extra help and guidance i'll be reopening my back master class on july 29th for those with umbilical hernia dysis recti and weak and core back muscles that's why you never connect because there's something going on with your spine and that's why i have a lot of patients when they hear back master class they think it's just the back but actually it's your core and that will help anyone with postpartum because you went through pregnancy and you're carrying the baby and you're having starting having back pain as well that's why you can't work out in the gym because you can't just lift weights you just really want to make sure you're connected to the core which is the powerhouse of the body so if you have more time today Click the link on the description below, write your name and email address so you can receive a secret password to get through my first come first serve cases, Fat Master Class. Because I don't want to have a lot of students, I want to make sure it's a small intimate class so I can take care of you specifically. Any questions, and especially if you don't have access to any healthcare in your area that has specialized on Pilates, yoga, physical therapy. You have more time today. I have more diastasis tracked by Bill Kahner video you can check out over here. And another amazing back workout you can do that will help your core. Until my next video training, always remember be safe, be well, and healthy. You bye.